Welcome back, Maplers! Last time, you learned the basics of controlling your character and gaining levels. Now, it's time to ramp up your training and go to the next level! Let's dive deeper into a level up, starting with stats. First off, let's look at your character stats. The auto assign button helps you decide where your stats are best allocated. Generally, warriors will want strength, bowmen and pirates want dexterity, thieves want luck, and magicians want intelligence. Sometimes, jobs will be a hybrid, so keep an eye out for those. As you level, you'll advance in your jobs. Advancing your job lets you acquire new skills. The first time this happens is at level 10, followed by level 30, level 60, level 100, and level 200. At level 140, you also get access to hyper skills. That's a lot of exciting skills to learn and try out. With every level, you gain ability points and skill points, so don't forget to spend them. Assign your new skills to hotkeys by dragging the skill to the hotkey bar in the bottom right. Then you can unleash them on your foes. You can access the keyboard shortcut screen by pressing your left slash key or going to the settings and clicking key bindings. Keep in mind, not all skills need a hotkey, such as passive or boost skills. These work automatically. Every class, faction, or job has a starting area where they will gain their first few levels. But every bird leaves the nest eventually. You have solved all the problems of your homeland by conquering enemies, discovering secrets, and helping allies. Now, it's time to move into Maple World, a place where you can freely roam and carve your own path. Sometimes you'll have to find your own way. Six Path Crossway is a great hub for traveling around Maple World. The mini-map will inform you of what's in your area. If you click on the World button, you can see all of the places in Victoria Island. Right-click and it will take you to Maple World. Look at all the exciting places you can visit on your adventures! As you can see, hovering over a map tells us about the place, how many quests are available, and what characters you can meet there. Hennessy's is a great hub of vendors, quest givers, and other players. Now we have settled in Hennessy's, we can start questing. There are four main quest types. Hunt, Collect, Converse, and Travel. Hunting is all about bopping lots of monsters until you reach your target. Collect quests are about finding items. Monsters will sometimes drop items you need to collect. Converse quests will have you talk to characters around the world and they will want you to deliver important messages to allies. Travel quests have you explore new and exciting places. Look out for a light bulb in a speech bubble. This means a quest is available from this character. Once you've completed the quest, the light bulb will become a book. A lot of quests have chains in order to complete the full quest line. By completing quests, you'll be able to obtain great rewards like mesos and experience. But what if you finish all your quests in an area? Fear not! There is a handy little tool called Maple Guide. Maple Guide provides quests you can pursue. Better yet, you can teleport to the area within your level range to begin your adventure. As you level up, more Maple Guide quests will become available. It's also easy to keep track of what quests are right for your level. And if you're ready, you can take on these cute but deceptively challenging bosses to test your skills! Finally, special content can be played repeatedly regardless of level and has loads of awesome activities for you to participate in. As you can see, there's plenty to do and much to gain from the Maple Guide. You now have a good grasp on how to level up and where to find quests. See you in the next video, where we'll be teaching you how to gear up! Yeah.